There's a lot of confusion and misinformation about the types of CMS out there today. To help you make a decision about what CMS is right for you, we've made this handy explainer video. Now there's really three main categories of CMS. You have traditional CMS, of which WordPress is by far the most popular. And then there's something called DXP, or Digital Experience Platforms. Adobe Experience Manager, or AEM, is one of these. And then there's headless CMS, which includes Agility CMS. Let's dig into what each one is. Now, traditional CMS is what initially dominated the website market, and that's any CMS that's tightly coupled to a single website. And examples, of course, are WordPress, and there's also Wix and Squarespace that fit into those as well. Now, let's describe how this is. I call it CMS in a box. Traditional CMS puts everything in the same box. Your website's tightly coupled to the CMS itself and all the other things that that CMS brings with it like databases or other technology specific things. But wait, there's more. One of the things that emerged from lots of traditional vendors is the idea of hybrid headless APIs. Well, what that does is it kind of attaches an API onto the side of this box. And that allows other systems to access the content in the box. Now, moving on to what are the pros and cons here, it's really quick to get started with traditional CMS. There's lots of pre-built themes and plugins. On the consideration side, the websites, these they tend to get slower over time as you add more content into them. And there are some legitimate security concerns that come up. Most of the hacked websites on the internet today, they're WordPress sites. And when you wanna change your design, you often have to rebuild everything because your website is tightly coupled to your CMS content. Now let's look at digital experience platforms. The definition here I would say is everything in the kitchen sink. Lots of features in these platforms. Some examples, of course, are Adobe AEM, Sitecore, EpiServer, and Crown Peak are a few other of the competitors in this space. How do they fit together? Well, if traditional CMS said, let's put everything in the same box, DXP says, let's put more stuff in the box. There's a simplified representation of just a few of the features that these platforms might have. It's a lot of stuff. And then, of course, since this is about adding lots of features, well, let's put that hybrid headless API onto there as well. That's a lot of things that are in these platforms. So of course, one of the pros of these platforms, tons of features, including commerce, personalization, marketing automation, search, et cetera, et cetera. It goes on and on. This is a feature race kind of category. One of the considerations here is that it tends to get expensive. You're paying for these features. There's also a really steep learning curve. These are complex platforms with lots of stuff that goes on. So the onboarding can be pretty slow as well. And the other thing that comes about with all these features and this complex rollout, it tends to lead to vendor lock-in. Once you get this rolled out, you don't want to get it anywhere else. Now, let's look at the third category. And headless is the most recent type of CMS to start dominating the marketplace. And we would define this as content first or content as a service, which is really any system where the content is separate from the output. It tends to be API driven. It's almost always cloud based and it's SaaS, which is software as a service. So you pay a fee as opposed to doing an install. Some examples of this, of course, Agility CMS, Contentful, Prismic, just to name a few. Let's look at how headless CMS works. Well, where traditional CMS or DXP says, let's put everything in a box, headless CMS says, mm, there's no box. Headless CMS sends content directly to your website from the cloud. It can also send content to your apps or even things like digital signage. Your content can be reused everywhere, anywhere. That's kind of a really big deal for content. Now, so for the pros, we can have what we call omni-channel output. So it can, your content can go to lots of different websites, you can go to apps, signage, anywhere. But it also is tend to be really easy to get on board with these, symptom, with, these, uh, with these systems. They're a lot simpler. And the other thing is you can launch much more quickly. That's a really big deal when you're sort of planning something out, you start with the content, and the websites and apps can tend to get built really quickly. Well, on a consideration here, these things need to be built by developers. So developers are required. Headless CMS is really powering the future web and it's becoming extremely popular. And let's look at why. Well, as I said before, you have valuable content. 
you put it in a CMS, it can be used anywhere. And it can be reused in lots of different places. So that reusable content gets even more valuable. And because you've got this content stored in a place that's central, you're future-proof. It's going to be valuable in the future as well for all the systems that you haven't even thought of yet. You're going to be able to reuse it there too. Now, one of the precepts of Headless CMS is that it doesn't know about where it's going to be going, what content is where that is going to show up. It means the developers may end up doing a lot more work to work with that content. It's pretty disconnected. And the editors, they might not have as much control as they might need. Well, that's where Agility CMS comes in with three really important benefits. Agility CMS allows you to organize your content and create a content model that has well-defined types and relationships. These empower your content editors with the ability to do a lot of things. And one of those things is page management. It gives the editors control over what's in the sitemap. Most headless CMSs don't do this. And finally, you can enable your developers with better tools like Jamstack to launch more quickly. These really set Agility CMS apart from the other headless CMS offerings. In our next video, we'll dig into how Agility CMS is the best CMS for content modeling using content relationships. Mm -hmm.